Alright guys, we're going to do a green inch worm. You're going to need a 6 sot chartreuse thread. This is a size 12. Just go ahead and wrap this thing on back. And you snip off that excess. And take it all the way back out to the eye. You're going to need some uh, chartreuse bucktail. I'm going to get about about like that much. And you want to get make it pretty long. About like so. And, you know, I'll kind of knock out any of those uh, short fibers that don't need to be in there. And I'm gonna come in here, and you want your want it going that way. And on that first wrap, just kind of let your that uh, bucktail just spin a little bit, and then just go in there and tighten it down, and go ahead and cover all that excess, and that'll help build your body up a little bit and taper it down. Go in there about where you'd put a parachute at and get some of it kind of going that way. And you just want to bend it back over your fly, just like so. Kind of make you a bullet head almost. And get you a couple of wraps. And I'm going to get a little bit of uh, yellow foam. And that's going to be just strictly for high vis purposes. Help you see it a little bit better. Because this is going to be a dry fly. I'm just going to plop it right in there. Then just go ahead and get your whip finisher. Couple wraps right it and, and hit it right in there in the middle of that line where you, you tied your foam on. Snip it, get some uh, crazy glue, just get you a little dab in there, and leave it because you're gonna need some of it later. Okay, so just go ahead and take that out of the hook or the vise. So just get you a little uh, little pin, a little needle, hem and needle, and I'm just gonna put it right in that vise, just like so. And I'm gonna get my fly and really kind of pull it tight, pinch it, and get it kind of right in there. Get right in there behind the, uh, that shank, okay? And just kind of set it right in there on that pin. Get your thread, and I'll just kind of put it right in there with it. And then come in there real tight and get you a couple wraps. Just leave it and get your whip finisher and hit it again. And hit it with some more um, super glue and slide him off. 
and just come on back down. You know, you just want the thing to be segmented right. So you got your two segments, and then just come on back down, and follow suit with it, and pinch it real tight. Get your thread in there, that pinch, and then just pull it tight. And get your couple wraps, and then get your whip finisher. Hit it with a little uh, super glue. And then uh, snip that excess. <clears throat> then you take your pin out, and I'm just going to stick him back in there. And then I'm just going to grab him right there at the tail. And snip it off and there you go now you could do a couple more segments if so if you needed to depending on where you're fishing here in North Carolina we don't really need I mean that's about as big as they're gonna get um, and just during the summer months when those terrestrials get to rolling and they're out and about um, one it's a real bright pattern and that's exactly what the the inchworms look like and you know they, they hang down with their webs so anytime it rains anytime it's a windy day um, they're getting knocked out of those bushes and trees so and, and into the water so it's a good idea to you know beat the banks with them and uh, and, and it, the, the fish will be looking up and they'll come right up and, and you know eat them so there you go the inchworm. <laughs>